Cameron, why don't you try drawing the critical rendering path diagram for this example? Sure, let's see. First things first, we request this HTML, then we start to build the DOM and come across this CSS file, which of course we have to request. We continue to build the DOM and then immediately encounter app.js, which is parser blocking. So we halt construction of the DOM, request, and wait for the file. When we finally get the CSS and have built the CSS on, we can run app.js and then continue to build the DOM. And then we hit the next script, timing.js, so we block parsing on the download. Does that sound right? Yep, that's right. However, this could take quite a while. First, we block on app.js and wait for it to arrive, then on timing.js and wait for that to arrive. To optimize this particular case, the browser has a special process called the preload scanner, which peeks ahead in the document and tries to discover critical CSS and JavaScript files like timing.js. Oh, that's clever. So even though the parser is blocked, we could discover timing.js and initiate downloads for critical resources? Yeah, exactly. So instead of waiting to build the CSS object model and run app.js before requesting timing.js, the preload scanner finds timing.js and requests it while the parser is blocked. Cool. Well, that's pretty interesting. Where can I learn more about the preload scanner? Check out the instructor notes. You'll find a couple of good resources there that will help explain why the preload scanner exists and how it operates.